Why? What's that? I, uh, I really want to talk to Denzel. I want to understand, you know, I want to hear from him that at least at some level, he... came across as very selfish that day yeah i mean he seemed, I know. he seemed very remorseful to me anything right now uh yeah can you hear me wait can you hear me now can you hear me yeah i mean he, yeah, he was very rare was uh, you know remorseful to me but my only issue with denzel is that i've had this conversation with him multiple times in the past mm -hmm. i mean even like uh even like at the Randy thing, right? Remember that the whole denying the business shit? Like we really had to talk talk him through, like thinking through the repercussions of that shit. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> so it's uh, you know, I love Denzel all my heart, but this you're not you know, you're not wrong when you say this is gonna bite us in the ass eventually again, because it would not shock me if this happens again, you know, maybe not to the same capacity, but to a similar one. But at the same time, that's not like Leslie or Dean's problem. Oh, right? 100%. And that's I, why I'm keeping like my mouth shut on that, right? To... Okay. Like, I've been right. dealing with We're Denzel the doing thing. this kind of shit for years. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's the problem I've learned to deal with. And most of the time, control. But, you know, there's going to be times where, I, you know, I go to bed and I can't be around to uh, talk some sense into him. And I thought Andy could have been that person. That's why eventually, you know, I was accepting of that relationship because he told me that he calms her. She calms him down, keeps him sane. And I'm like, finally, you know, somebody that can do that for him without and having to be me. Complete fucking opposite. And then it's the complete fucking total opposite. But you do agree, this is not Dean and Leslie's issue, right? Like I understand. Oh, hundred percent. The only reason I'm here is because I don't want to lose my relationship with Leslie. And that's why when he said you have a horse in this race, and I told that motherfucker, no, I'm dragged. You know, I'm tied to a horse being dragged through the mud in this race because at the end of the day, I have my issues. I need to resolve with Denzel. And Leslie wants to seek retribution, but he wants me to come up with a solution when it's not me who's going to come up with one. I'm here to swallow the bitter pill I need to swallow. Yeah. I mean, in to be quite truthful, um, the only thing I could think of was red and I want to fucking drown that bitch. And in many ways, I still do. However, um, it's very clear to me during this meeting, talking about it, that, taking the kid and shit like that, Seth, that everyone has gone soft. Plus, and that's it. fine. I'm not saying you are, but those two definitely are. Because that's going to cause a bigger issue if we want to go down. That, I've already already signed off. I already know deep down that they are not going to be open to any severe retribution or whatever the fuck it is. So my only concern is the long-term plan, and that's something you and I, or whatever, they, everyone, we, you know, and Tony and shit, we can talk through and figure out. Well, I mean, need to, to be, be fair, the only reason their plans are quote unquote soft is because they know that I don't want Denzel harmed. So they're trying to find other ways to kind of get the same, you know, idea of that in a different way. Right. Okay. But they also don't want to do anything with Andy. Uh, you know, I get the fingers pot, but you know, the moment the child is being talked about, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. Oh fuck. Have they been here the entire time? Hey, All what's right, going so, on? Guy? Uh, topic number two, Where I guess. You come from? The door. Oh. The door? Were you here? Oh. Yeah, we were here the whole time. Did you see Lang's penis just now? Yeah. No, we couldn't see it. Yeah, sorry about that. You need to speak up, Lang. There we go. So I said, yeah, the sorry about that. strange is about the length of your penis. There you go. Seth, you're insane, man. Thank you for the tier two five gift has been. So, what is the next topic on the table? Uh, Stanton, you're ready All for right. my expungement? Never mind. All right, can we have a can we have an agreement? There's no fucking phone calls in these meetings. Well, this is in relation to what we're about to talk about, Dean. This is about the expungement. I thought you were already on the Wait, phone. Wait, so we're gonna talk about. Yep. Oh, I uh, see. Give me. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna call. Oh, you, you guys back. have talked to Denzel or Andy yet? Sorry, I, I, so Denzel screen, hasn't been online in three to four days, and Andy has been doing these hours when we kindness. literally are all asleep. Like, what do you want from me? I know Just you're down. To, I know you're down, baby. Listen, I'm gonna give you a call when I'm done. If you got that court case. Admitting um, Nino Chavez, admitting to a judge on call. Denzel's on now? Oh, okay. Now Sorry, I know that. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'll give you a call. All right. And Mr. Chavez, Chavez isn't so thoughtful after all. So maybe, 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 you, you know, know you noodle, have a little Chavez? bit of patience, and Denzel's probably going to call us when he's ready, right? Sausage. That we can have that conversation. What the fuck does that mean? It's uh, Gen C language. It's when people being uh, suspicious. Sausage. About what? 
You think I'm about to kill a judge? Yeah. Are you up in a sausage? You're being sausage. You, you know, Stanton gave me a phone. Okay, so check this. Um, A lot of these judges are out the door. And there's a fear from the lawyers that they're signing off on everything and anything. And that just happened a little while ago. So keep that in, your, in the back of your mind when it comes to any decisions you make the next couple of weeks. All right, who wants to kick this off? I don't even know what the topic is. All right, mayor race, right? Yeah, mayor okay. race. So what we know is, you know, you're 100% running. Uh, I am. Uh, yes, I would like to. Okay, so then our big top conversation is Abdul. Abdul is running again. Now, Abdul was very fucking tough competition last time. That man in his taxi by himself got almost the same amount of fucking votes Denzel did with, the, with us canvassing the whole city for a whole week. Yeah. Abdul did come to me and said, look, I want to talk to you first because I, was, I said no to you last time. Will you back me for mayor? So, I don't think any of us trust Abdul though, right? No. Uh, no. Yes and no. To put in the mayor seat is the question. In the mayor seat, hell no. Abdul is one of those people that could think that he is intelligent enough <coughs> to have this grand plan, but it just falls flat on the first first aspect of the plan, and that is why I fear him. So here's the thing, right? If how do we how do we approach this? Do we just go against him again and and risk risk so the gonna... kind of support he had last time? So I know y'all have your own interests, right? I don't know what all those interests are. Uh, I know at some level you want somebody that you can control. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that the reason I want to run for mayor uh, comes down to uh, the clap program, right? And my realization that stepping in as mayor is two talking points, two platform points that I am interested in focusing on. One being accountability for the police department because it affects every citizen and business and number two is propelling uh entrepreneurs and workers and uh making sure they have more than they do today now okay, so how it's, not do we... it's not necessarily about having control it's about knowing that <coughs> if push comes to shove you're in our corner. Bloodshed at 10,000 mm -hmm. bits, dude. You're crazy, now, man. Bitcoin up that Leslie good, huh? And his strong opinion that you need the police vote. I don't know how much I buy into that, but I'm going to take his better judgment. Um, I know that there's a good chance that anybody that we are very upfront backing is going to become problematic with the series of things that are taking place right now. I don't think it's going to be the entire police department, but there is going to be a significant portion. Um... Where my mind currently is at, and I'd love to hear y'all poke holes in this, because you were here during that last campaign. Hearts and Chad Boys, a legend. Is I think Abdul needs to be brought in. Oh my God. Oh, the 5,000 fucking days. I also want to bring in, and this is something that you guys are probably not going to fucking like, but someone uh, like Vinny into the cabinet as well. And what? I'm sorry. Uh, what? And now you're being sausage, that, Thomas. You're being. I'm. I'm gonna I'm, be. I'm telling you exactly you are being real what sausage. I think needs to be done. Okay, why is that? Why is that? Because Abdul does have a vote, but he wants a position. Uh, on. I, I get Abdul, bringing... and I agree with it. You get Abdul. Do you have a problem uh, with Abdul? No, I get. I get. I get. I, I get, and I agree with pulling him in under you. I, I get and agree with that personally, but you just. Brought in the V and the P word in this because conversation. They are the big reason why Abdul even had a chance. And I have very That's good relationships. True. That's not true. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul did all the work himself. himself. Six days. He did, yeah. Yes, they six did. Of the basically seven days nothing. He did, it in, he did it himself. Do you believe that truly? Yes. 100%. Yes. 100%. He, he had no. They tried for any one day and then, and then they ran, got tired and yeah. stopped. Any event that was ran. On the behalf of Abdul was pandering to people that had already voted for Abdul. It was ridiculous. Yeah, I mean they 
everything Chang did is exactly what Dean just said, was to literally throw events for people that were already voting for Abdul. Abdul was the one to put in the work and actually went out there and uh, spoke to people that were not voting for him already. So they're not necessary then. Oh, I mean, it's good to have them in the corner. I uh, but, I think it but, would but be. If the, here's the thing. The and, trade-off, yeah. if the trade-off of having them in our corner yeah. is getting Mr. VP in the cabinet, that's, that's the biggest sausage I've ever seen. Well, explain to me. I, I don't know what you, you you need to explain yourself. I mean, those guys, you know, f first of all, don't, don't fuck with me in any capacity. And, you know, I think it would, we would butt heads a lot in that in that regard. Also, during the campaign, their tactics were to commit terrorism at every one of our events. Yeah. Okay. And they're in our corner now. Bloodshed, you're going nuts, We don't need bro. to give the guy deputy mayorship. Vinny's going to be very happy given a slice. And in turn, they feel good about it. And in turn, that's a big personal You're honor. going nuts, bro. So what, what's, what's your plan again? Bring in Abdul. Bring in but Vinny. In, into which organization? And that's, that's in addition. That is in addition to Penny and Drea. I think the cabinet that happened uh, that was under uh, Denzel's reign was way too small. The mayoral ship needs to be run like an executive branch. And you need a lot of people with a lot of responsibility that's split. And when you do that enough, a lot more gets done. Now, these are very strategic plays that I'm putting here, and I know... That there's going to be a little bit of... Uh, I understand there's some uh, some issues going back to the tuna shop and whatnot, but I think we solve a lot of problems having, having him in our corner. All right, well, here's the thing, right? If it comes down to it, mm. and if there's any doubt or any reason, and any one of us say, you have to get rid of this guy, it has to be done. And that's even if we agree to this. Like, his voice has to be second to you. Yeah, of course. What makes you think otherwise? Well, I would not be put in, anyone... He'll be in part I, of the cabinet, whereas we wouldn't, right? Right. So, I want to make one thing clear. I am not putting anyone in this cabinet whom I think is not um, going to comply, right? I'm always open to disagreements and debate and conversation. But by no means, and this goes with Abdul as well. I still need to talk to him, right? They need to be cut off enough of a slice Sparsen, where they feel you're like so they've stupid. got power. Hurts my brain. And you give them enough hope that this is Just a great stepping on, stone for their future political career. Okay, with that said, I'm just making sure mm -hmm. if we agree to this and it comes to it and we say you have to get rid of them, they have to go. Uh, easy. And I say that because if it can if push came to shove, um, I would assume that you are going to back this fully. Your campaign? No. Um, well, anything that comes out of it, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, we didn't really interfere with Denzel's platform at all, right? Yeah, we, we, we only need we to win the race. Then, yeah. Everything else comes afterwards. Right. But what's important to us is we know what's going across your desk at all times, basically. Not that so we can control it, just so that we're aware, you know? Yeah, of course. What is uh, What was the relationship with Denzel originally? Pretty much this. Yeah, pretty, I mean, I, I had my own personal intentions uh, involving Young Dab. There was a big, uh, you know, grand scheme there, but obviously... He disappeared so mm. and the reason i ask this question is because i think it's important for me to understand what your goals are with the mayorship right uh obviously in the case of like lsbn that has paid dividends uh exactly. but there are there particular goals because those goals need to also be taken into consideration when not only speaking with individuals like abdul but also 
uh, planning who is in the cabinet. Okay. Right. It's, um, is the question, is the question what goals are here for Cerberus? Is that the question? Yeah, of course. Okay. Then or even, the even individual interests. Okay. The answer, I think, for all of us, and correct me if I'm wrong here, Wang and D, is that we want somebody that we know we can rely on as the mayor so that we <coughs> don't have somebody that we can't rely on. Really, that's it. Then if we need, if, like Dean said, if push mm. comes to show and we need to have something pushed, then we can rely on that being pushed. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much Pretty it. much the yeah. same as LSBN, right? Like, we never, yes. we don't get involved with LSBN at all. But when we need something, we, we do it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. But they run their own company, right? We don't mm -hmm. tell them how to run their company, run their books, who to hire, who whatnot. No. But and when, the when it comes with... to it... All right, go ahead. I was just saying, when it comes to it, they will do what we say when it, we, we need it to be done. The second person that I think needs to be in here, the second in charge is going to be Penny. And okay. the reason is, when and if push comes to shove, and a... Uh, what do you call it? Number one, we need... Well, it can be someone other than Penny, but my mind's on Penny right now. The reason is she already had interest in the mayorship. If push comes to shove, we need to make sure that she looks like the next best candidate. Because at some point, my term's going to end. We got a plan for the future, right? So this I, is I would have to I would have to think that one through if I'm being honest. If not Penny, somebody, whoever whoever takes that spot, they need to be groomed to be next in line. Now, um, that's another reason why I think Abdul and Vinny is a safe bet because I've. I've looked into this enough to know how much actual work goes behind this and not, I don't think once Abdul learns how much effort goes behind this shit, he's going to be interesting and, and definitely not Vinny. So well, we need somebody couldn't, there. Couldn't, couldn't technically. Okay. Let's play with the idea that Vinny would become me. Like, okay, let's pretend me, Vinny. Happen. Okay. But let's pretend, let's pretend Vinny is me today. Mm. What would stop him from going, doing a bunch of irrational decisions, but not doing any mayoral duties? And I'm saying irrational decisions to watch us. Somebody could still do that while still not doing the mayoral duties. Because the Senate is coming into play. And how do anyone at this table know exactly how that will work? Other than the what has Senate, been said. So, um, you're, just to make sure I understand you correctly, you're saying, what if the Senate comes into play and they decide not to uphold their duties right um why why are we considering vinnie becoming man well you said grooming somebody <coughs> next in line no yeah well it wouldn't be vinnie and it wouldn't be we would not uh, li listen we would not groom vinnie and we would not groom abdul no we need we need somebody in the cabinet that is groomed okay they would only be there and they to need to be votes. there from the they i'm sorry it would only be there to secure votes, yes? Well, yeah, exactly. Okay. You cut both of them a piece that make them feel like they've got something, and you give them something legitimate, right? Something they can run with. But we need somebody else that from day one, even as a part of this campaign, is being groomed for the future, and they see um, that the people see them beside me. Uh, this shit's so confusing, bro. There's so much to think about right now. Jesus Christ, my brain's on over overload, bro. Who did you have in mind before I put my name on the table? Penny. Do you have anyone in mind? It was Penny. Mm -hmm. Was there the anyone reason... else in mind? No. The reason why why Penny was in mind then and not now is because, uh, I, and I think this is really Lang's question to answer, but I believe if she doesn't, if she's not going in for mayor, then having her the half stand and risking Wang's rooster rooster business is not something he wants. Correct me if I'm wrong, Wang. Uh yeah, that is correct. For me, it was uh, if we're gonna go full deep, all then or, or it's the, yeah, all or nothing, right? Because that woman, uh, you know, keeps the uh, you know one of my most uh, beloved businesses, uh, you know, afloat. So I, I don't want to spread her too thin. That'd be my pretty much concern. Uh, but before Penny was Bassum, then obviously you know. Bassem passed, and then we kind of had to scramble a little bit. We were running out of time. You know, we have to gear up for the race. So 
We just started firing names that we think would have been good, and then when Penny came uh, to light, and at first I disagreed, and then eventually I thought about uh, that that might have been the only person if we, we didn't really have much time to really go and look for somebody. Um, I think this is something that we should then think about uh, for the next little bit. Just hang up. I'll call you back. Um, so I'm going to, what's likely to happen over the next couple of weeks is let's say I get the mayorship, uh, and let's say, uh, Vinny and Abdul enter the cabinet. They are going to be taken out probably within three weeks. Vinny probably within a week or two. Uh, what do you mean? What does that mean? Well, what I mean is they're going to end up shooting up. Space. No, they're, they're going to end up shooting up cops or like Abdul is going to go on some tirade that's going to force my hand. So, so what is the entire in intent then? You know, I'm I'm trying to understand. So to you want them? The votes. Oh, so you want them in initially to secure the votes, and then in hopes that they do some dumb shit to fuck up and they just remove. Yeah, exactly. I see. I see. The, 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 my entire point here is to create a unified front. My my entire platform is to remove the corruption from the police department. That that is the reason I'm standing up right now. Second, being bringing some power back to the people. Giving them more of what <coughs> Andy was able to give. And subsequently, Denzel. I mean, it's a gamble. I, I see what you mean. It is a gamble, though, right? I, if I, we I, bring in Abdul, that's a shitload of votes. It also removes a very interesting candidate. You get Vinny on your side. You give them enough that they do feel empowered, which I think is valuable because despite all the upheavals that we've had with them i'm sure you guys i mean i don't want to speak on your behalf but there's a big enemy at play but all said and done i need someone else there too because i do want to groom somebody from the beginning this is not about just this election it's about the next one and especially with the senate to uh, counter what you said there, Leslie. On one hand, they may not do anything. On the other hand, they may step in real quick. And if they do, someone else needs to be ready. Yeah, fair enough. I always think safing is good. It's just how you safe, I guess. I mean, uh, I are you point. not worried about like clashing? Uh, I don't know what kind of work would entail with uh, you know you and Vinny, for example. You're not worried about like clashing heads and shit from that coming Me from and that. Vinny many? have been really good friends for a very long time. We've had our differences. We've had guns to each other's heads, but we can work together. Oh, yeah. Plus, when push comes to shove, when it comes to little things, especially when it doesn't um, create a conflict, we got shooters on deck. <laughs> we don't want that, do we? It come in handy. I'd rather have them on our side than the other side. Oh, man. I think you're, I, I see your point, Travis, and I, I, I to some degree agree with it, but I think you're overestimating the rationality of any Piston. I, I think I've known him longer than all of you combined. And the rest <coughs> of the gang. That doesn't automatically, oh, all right. I, I don't think that automatically makes you the best judge of character for Vinny Piston, naturally. Vinny, as one of the sole reasons why the tuna shop saga even was a thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in fact it could all be traced probably back to him just him i ask myself what is the worst that they can do well take the the position in the cabinet you. do some crazy shit I Fantastic. Agree with you, right? he kicks like, himself out as long as he has no real power and his only power is executive power through you i have no problem with it and as long as the fact that we, if we come and say it any single time, hey, get this guy out of here, you don't question it, he's gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see why and not. I don't have a problem with it. 
<laughs> the man's also got a pizza shop that's coming around the corner. He's barely going to have time. Yeah, like I say, I I'm I'm not as against it as uh, as Leslie is, or as inquisitive about it, because as long as you contain him, he's he should be fine. Yeah, listen, like I said, I I, I see your point of view, and I, I to some degree agree with it. Uh, I'm I'm just trying to raise concerns. That's all. But uh, what Dean is saying is also true. Fine. Uh, I mean, I don't really have a, a thought or really an opinion right now. I'm just kind of thinking uh, things through as you guys talk, to be honest. Fair enough. Like I said, I, I do understand the gamble, though. It, it does make sense. You kind of remove, uh, you know, all opposition in the race without them re really even knowing, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not just that. I look at Abdul, and I cannot seriously sit here and be like, this man is going to have the patience and interest to look through business proposals. Here's the thing. If you can convince Abdul to join you, it's a slam dunk. If you can't, agree. it's going to be very, very, very hard for you to win. I, I fully agree with you there. It's gonna I be think difficult I can to garner him. a lot of votes. Um, however, uh, I think that is the first step. Did, did we aside. tell you? Did you? Did, did we tell you what offer? Uh, what offer Dean gave him to run under us? Uh, that he denied. It? Dean. Shit, I can't even remember. It was something like. Um, it's a percentage share of the casino like and a bunch of other shit. Ten percent of the casino. Um. I pushed his taxi up to the top of the list to get right. it constructed. Um, oh, I was going to give him full control of the poker rooms in the casino too, and all profits and stuff. Mm. And so, there was so one my, more my, thing my, too. I can't remember. Yeah, my point here, Chavez, is that I don't know that if Abdul would be content running under anybody, considering those circumstances. But if mm. we can make ah. it work, hey, power to the people. He that'd be great. I'm just saying. Now, right? He may yes. have humbled just a tiny bit. Yes. I want to convince him from a point of what is best for the city. And cool. I hope he is willing to listen to reason. Now, that's well, that for that madness to him too, way more than I have. But that is the angle I'm going to come at him with. That is the angle you should take. I think he has so much value <clears throat> to the city, um, especially in a position of power. However, I think it is a disinterest to himself to be at the top of the food chain. Because it is more likely that he is to be pulled out uh, of his mayoral ship early than he would ever want. That instead, if he takes a hold of helping the people of Los Santos get those jobs and 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 you know help boom businesses, which he he has a lot of uh, experience with. I mean, look at the man's taxi company. That is the position he should take. Um, but you're right. That conversation needs to happen. The reason it happened uh, has not is because I wanted to hear your thoughts first. Um, how much does he believe he won on his own? And how much do you believe that he thinks it was Chang Gang that helped him win? Uh, Abdul... 100% knows he almost won on his own. Mm -hmm. He yeah. put in war. He, he outworked. Uh, he did not work us, obviously, but uh, the things that Chang Gang, uh, you know, did for him is what Dean said was uh, just throw events for people that were already voting for him. I don't even think he showed up to half the events they threw. The main, the main he was just that, out doing the, the, you know, the legwork. The main things they did is, is trying to smear our campaign. That's essentially most of the work they did. Okay. That's good to know. The most important question now I have for everybody here is my platform. How much of those two agenda items do you care about? Said, I don't care about anything as long as we have a secure mayor. That's my stance. I... Yeah, it's like we said, do mm. whatever you want to do. Just I, I, I obviously care, care about your agenda, Nino, but for me, it's uh, I, I can't really work with Vinny in really any capacity. Uh, the guy does not fuck with me, and uh, I just I would prefer to avoid the headache Do you of think us eventually crashing. Is a problem today, in Los Santos. 
Ah, uh, uh, yes, I mean, it's very obvious, yes. And Dean and Leslie, you not so much? Mm, I'm trying to uh, just go through the theoretical maze here. Give me a second. Mm, I have to consider it's very, very few times that I have been in any type of crosshairs of the law, but with that said, every time I have been in the crosshairs of the law, it has always felt like they have been trying to do shady shit in order to get what they want. So, yes, I do agree, and I think I would agree any even more if I was in the crosshairs more often. So, my short answer is yes. Dean? Sorry, I, I forgot the question based on Leslie's answer. Uh, uh, do you think there's corruption in the PD? And or do you just think in the entire problem. Department of Justice? You know, every, every, every government official, essentially, right? Yeah, sure, of course. Yeah. Fuck the DOJ. If we're going to talk about the DOJ, yes, I'm all on board. I was on the ship the fucking years ago. The DOJ, they can suck my ass and my balls. The reason I ask this question is I want to understand, like, the motive here, right? And because this is going to get fucking dirty and it's going to get fucking nasty. Here's the thing, right? Again, I, I don't, I don't give a fuck about your agenda. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> you go in there, okay. do whatever you want. Oh, then Zano's calling me. Sorry to interrupt. I'll go back to you. All right. I appreciate that. Hello, then Hello. Did you hear about this fucking Mando shit? Uh, yeah, I'm handling it. You, what do you mean you're handling it? Uh, I'm handling it. How so? So then, I don't this really think I need I to tell you how I'm going to handle it, then, Zan. Um, I'm going to talk to Abdul. How are you handling it? I think it's going to be a bit That is none of your business. And I mean, I have an I arrangement with him. That's Abdul. why I'm confused. What is your arrangement? I, do, oh, do you have the report? He literally there? was going to get the I'm car wash, and he said he's going to pay me money for it. That was the original arrangement we have, so I don't understand why he's threatening the businesses. Yeah, there is. I mean, I don't understand that either. I mean, uh... that's why I'm saying uh, this is why I'm confused. And this is why I'm calling you, because if I give this car wash to somebody else, because he's threatening the business, it means he's going to shoot them. So it's it's kind of putting me in a pissed off situation because, quite frankly, uh, he's, he's making me want to give the car wash to Speedy or OTT now. Um, because both were interested. I, I may move it. I'll What's give you a call right sausage? after this. But you see, I don't want him to escalate and just start shooting up the roosters over it. There's other important things that are happening right now, Leslie. I think Mando is very stupid, so uh, I don't think I his think threat so level too. is that high. I think so, too, and I tried calling him, and he didn't pick up. So I'm, I'm going to try to handle it. I don't understand how he doesn't realize that other people wanted this car wash, and we made it a, a deal and an agreement. Like... Well, just threaten him with it. I think it's okay. I just I don't want to threaten it, and the next thing you know, he's shooting up fucking roosters, Lang. That's why I'm calling you. Well, just threaten him with it and don't do anything. And then and if he reacts and wants to shoot up roosters, we take away everything from him. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's pretty straightforward. All right. Oh, well, I'll handle it then. All right. You don't need to handle it. I will handle it. Okay. All right. So. All right. All right. Right. You want the numbers? Yes. Hey, uh, I didn't want to say uh, while he was on the phone, but do you guys want me to bring him here now or what? What is the. Uh, uh not yet, right? Nino said he wants to I, I'd like to, to I'd like to speak to Denzel. Okay. okay. Let me just run these numbers too. <coughs> but uh, I think I could speak to him outside, possibly. Okay. You want the numbers? Uh yes. I'm also looking it up. When was this? A month ago. Nice. Right, so it's good that he is obviously well, damn, changing, yeah, I right? I got told Lang wants to see Wait, is, where is it? Was it a month let's ago? Call, like, where there's a problem. I... Let's think things through. Let's talk about what it, right? It? That's just literally what Lang like. dies to have from Denzel because he loves working with Denzel. So oh, I don't know why he the winner It's the like, Maya. people have this mentality, oh, now he wants to do this. And it's like, oh, motherfucker, really? he preach for people to change. And then they change, it's like, oh, now that, he's going to do it. It's like, what, what do you want? Voted. Yep. That's, That's, quite a lot when That's what I'm the saying. The PD vote matters. And what is, what was the time frame for the voting? It's a week. I also a don't week. think the numbers will be as high this election, honestly. I, I, I do agree with that. And that's why these numbers are so important. Yeah, people are kind I of fatigued. I need to and there's no big understand deal on how many people we can get to vote one way or another. And um, 
The other thing from my, do you have breakdowns of how much votes came in like the first day and the second day, et cetera. So we can plot a trajectory. The reason I, the reason I say that is my speculation would say that the first day of voting was huge. Uh, I mean, I think you would need at least half the votes in the PD. They are, they are, very, they are, there's a lot of motherfuckers in that bitch. Yeah. Okay. So, Nino's running and he's going to talk to Abdul, see if he can get on, on board. That's where we're at, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Next topic. Do we want to try and get a judge? I think so, yes. Do we uh, have any candidate? Splainer, I think, is running for judge, if I heard correctly. Yeah. Can we Splainer buy Splainer? Is... He seems like he's Oh, he's pretty... already bought. Yeah. Is he bought, I... bought though? Yes. Yeah. I, Splainer I, is, I a, spoke is, to is a brother to me. Oh, you spoke to him, too. All right. Yeah, Spl Splainer's like a brother to me. This guy is, uh, he has been there for me for a very, very long time, and, and it's always had my back beyond, beyond a judge. It's always been just, okay. uh, you know, just loyalty to one another. All right, can you organize a talk with him for all of us at some point so we can see if we can put our money behind him? Uh, yeah, of course, yeah. Who? Who are you talking about? Uh, Splainer. I see. But is this regarding the warrior team shit? Uh, judge. judge position. Oh. We need at least one judge in there. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint a picture right here. There's nine judges. Um, they require a buy license. Um, what else was it? There was one other criteria. Uh, I don't remember. I don't buy know. Buy license, experience, uh, previous member of the DOJ, and a buy license, right? And there's nine judges. Now, if... Two thirds of those judges are on our side. Even Remember if you when look at Chad was asking, "Why am I not spending know, my money?" <laughs> this is why we're about to right fucking here. spend a lot of money, boys. Get ready for it. Si if, if if two thirds of them are siding with criminals, and the other side is more siding with the police department, there's going to be some serious problems. I think something that needs to be seriously considered here is instead of looking at just a singular judge, and this is something I spoke to Splainer about and a bunch of others uh, just last night, is consider getting a list of judges and pushing for block voting. You're not just pushing... Splainer could be at the top of that block vote, but almost like a political party, you come in there with Splainer and a series of other candidates that are jointly in it together. All right. I, I mean, I'm down with that. I just don't don't know who those names are. So we need to start digging fast. He's already looking into a list of uh, names. Perfect. Now, does anyone um, disagree with that strategy? I don't want to be. No. I'm not trying to push this as this is the only option, but I think it's a good option to take. Also, the mayor has a, a vote in their in their proceedings, and their mayor's vote is worth two votes. So, so we keep the mayor seat. We already have two votes. Uh, Seems yeah, I mean, I, I agree judges. with the strategy, yeah. So if we want to keep uh, power, we need the mayor and four judges. That's our, that's our goal if we want ultimate decisions. I agree. These are just arrived, boys. Damn, what kind of pizza, bro? We need to consider what happens if we can't get Abdul. I, and I'm going to think about this in the next 24 hours. Yeah, I um, mean, if we don't if we don't get Abdul, we need to come back to the table. It's not worth yeah. talking about now because we'll be here for six hours talking about it. Agreed. Um, I so have a solution to this problem. Yeah. Sorry, what did Free you say? God swing bag. Okay, you don't that, have previous I, DOJ experience. Yeah, behind them. Pack! Bar license. Pack! Oh, yeah, some license. type of judge simulator game? 
You know, the funny thing about all this is that it would be easier for me to become a judge than it would be the mayor. Mm. There's no judge, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm thinking about record, pizza right, right, right now, too, bro. I won't cap. It's a nice a fucking pepperoni bonus. fucking. But I could become a fucking Greasy judge and start pizza? sniping fucking, fucking cases I want. Nice bottle of root beer? Fuck. Especially the ones presiding over the fucking police department. Now, one thing I do want, and while I let you guys chew on that idea for a second, I it, while we while this conversation with Abdul takes place, I do want you guys thinking of somebody else as well that I can groom. And worst case, worst comes to worst, because we don't with all this shit happening. If someone else needs to run, aside from me. I like contingencies. I mean, I'd rather us not think, thinking about that now rather Sammy, than waiting. Damn. Time is not exactly lost. anybody's friend. Not enough, man. It's been fucked, actually. Well, it is if you have a trust fund. Then it is good to have time on your side. It goes over time. Yeah, trust but why would you want a trust fund when you could control the money? I'm just saying. Anyways. Okay. Dude, I'm, I right. need to go do other shit. Next topic. Any topics? Oh, fuck. Uh, I mean, I'm more Cerberus than a topic. I don't, it doesn't matter if he knows here or not, but uh, I want to be this guy. It was very soon. But percentages in autos auto. What is going on with that? What, what is the plan here for that? I honestly haven't even thought about it. Oh, we need to have a meeting with auto where he's not an absolute crackhead. All right. Uh, the next uh, thing no was, one in this room is wiser regarding the percentages. Uh, the next thing was, um, fuck. I can't remember now. Never mind. I mean, here's the thing. When the last meeting we had with Otto, we were all there, and he was being an absolute crackhead. He put things on the table, and then he contradicted himself over and over again. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm well, like, it's, I agree that it's, it's annoying, but yeah, we, we, we got to figure it out to him. Before we do that, I, I don't think we can... We would assume any percentages or any payouts or anything. And it is problematic, but we need to get, get to it. The problem for me is that it, if I'm going to speak to Otto, it's, it's way past my bedtime. Yeah, uh, I mean, me, me too. The motherfucker's awake, but I'm literally, uh, you know, jerking off in the bathroom. All right, so what's the, the question I'll talk to him? The question is, what are the dividends? What are the percentages? Okay. How, how can we handle that? So I guess, sorry. The question is, what are the current percentages in, 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 in autos? The Cerberus... Can, can we rely on Cerberus having a set percentage? And how can we... Uh, is it possible for us to take out dividends based on our percentage? That's it. Okay. And that's okay. Cerberus is one entity. That, those are the, that's the question. Uh, next question was, uh, you guys are, you know, so green light to uh, bring a Hutchins to the NPA. I'm just going to give him probably not the biggest role that we plan on doing before. I just want to see uh, where his mind is at with the whole thing. He called me yesterday and he wanted to meet, but you weren't around anymore. Have you met him? And like I was around, cocksucker. No, not not no. You weren't because I I texted you and I called you when you weren't around. Oh, well, Leslie, have you spoke oh. to Hutch about it at all or not? No, no, I didn't find time. Okay, well that's where we were. That's where we were. Right. At. We were just getting. I feel, here's the deal. I don't I don't need to speak to Hutch if if you guys if you guys have spoken to him and and he has you know given an offer that's reasonable then that I trust you guys. That conversation doesn't need to happen. I don't think I'm gonna listen to an offer though. I'm just gonna tell him. Listen, I'll bring you in as a guy that can help manage things, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, I'm going to go talk to Denzel. Um, I'll be right outside, though. I'll have him come in. I know All you right. want to speak with him. I might as well get my conversation out of the way. All right, sounds good, you know. Uh, hold on, wait. I can barely hear you. Sorry, I'm yelling, my man. Um, the next thing was... Uh, fuck. I forgot again. Sorry. I've oh. been running like on three hours of sleep for like five days yeah, now. okay. Get some sleep. Uh, I mean, the the mines, we don't really have an issue there other than just uh, uh, trying so, to rework so, the idea of it, right? Yeah, so I, we kind of have a set idea now. When, you know what we spoke about with, with Speedy? I'm going to try to get in contact with Speedy and get that done. I can tell you that my employees have been actively running the mines uh, meanwhile. So we do have okay. jams on backup now. All right, that's good to hear. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, I mean, that's pretty much it on my end, to be honest. Uh, other than just making sure that you're good, Leslie, uh, you're you're happy with the conversation we had today. You know, anything else you know, you want to get off your chest? You know what I mean? Yeah. I, well, the only thing I want to say is I I know that this situation is probably 
more stressful for you than anybody else here. And I want you to know that I have been trying to respect that during this whole, during this whole thing that has happened. And I, if I could choose, this would have never happened, obviously. That's it. Oh, I know. I mean, but also, uh, you know, for you, uh, I'm just here to help you out. Whatever you want to do, I'm going to swallow, you know, swallow that bitter pill and uh, do it because I'm not going to sacrifice my relationship for you over some fucking stupid ass petty shit that happened. I'm getting an unknown number. Give me one second. It's probably going to be sketchy and weird. Hello? Hey, Mr. Lang, I'm back. I'm, I'm a baby mama. Who the fuck is this? Oh, listen, I'm going to come down to Rooster's Rest and I'm going to blow up the entire... All right. Uh, anyways, um, I just lost my train of thought. But uh, yeah, I'm just here to help you out. Uh, let's and support you. You know what I mean? That yeah, was like I the dumbest it. shit on the fucking planet that I just heard. Um, I guess another topic that we could briefly discuss is when the tuna shop does eventually open, do we plan to do anything still? Uh, I mean, um, the toll booth and shit, right? I think it was a good fucking right, idea, to be honest. Still, is that still an idea that we are? Yeah, it's still an option. We just need to. It's so petty that it's like, fuck. None of us have the time to even think about it at the moment, you know? Yeah, but it kind of has to be done, right? It has to be Yeah, I mean, I would love to get back to that life where we can just be petty and rule the world again. But yeah, 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 shame. <laughs> Shit's same. been fucked up recently, so. Yep. But that, that, and that's what I'm saying. This, the corporal kid, that's, that's, that's the gateway. That's the gateway, dog. <laughs> no, I like that. I thought it was funny, to be honest. But, uh, I, I mean. Travis was the only one that didn't like it. Yeah, I mean, uh. I, I don't know. I want Nino to be mayor, but I'm very worried about this Vinny shit. That's just my opinion. Yes. Yeah. The thing is, the problem, the, the problem, the problem with, 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 with. The thing is, like, Vinny oh, boys, I need to take so this phone call real quick. It's Stanton. I'm going to. Hey, Stanton, what's up? Hey, Buddha. How you doing today? Doing good. I was wondering. Dude, it's uh, funny how we say no called. phone calls, but every phone call. I'm we sorry. This get is it, important. It's, it's important. I'm sorry. This is important. Okay. I know every phone yeah. call. Stanton. We always mm -hmm. get it. Uh, sorry, I was talking to Leslie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like four, say, four, hey, five can you uh, expunge my record? You know what? You know what would be cool if we could. I could. Uh, and we, you know, maybe come to some sort of agreement where that can happen. Yeah. You know what? There's a couple of things I wanted to talk because you know taxes are like actually due. Like for this next week, we'll do back on the first to the seventh. Well, are you gonna be around for a little bit? I, I want to meet you in I'll person so we can go over some shit. Bit. Yeah, Dean and Leslie are pissed. I picked up my phone, so can I call you and maybe we meet up? Yeah. I right, give him like uh, give me like fifteen. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk all right, baby. I'm talking to you. Yourself. That okay, I will not answer my phone anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. I just want to expunge my record, take advantage of Stanton saying fuck the DOJ is gonna be hilarious. Should I maybe also expunge my record? Ah, uh, maybe. I mean, Stanton is in fucking mode right now, so. But, uh, sorry, Dean, what were you saying? Uh, oh, guys, I got an important phone call. Uh, you mentioned I'm Vinny. Gonna shoot someone. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy, how you doing? What did I ask? You mentioned Vinny for a brief moment? Yeah, the thing is, like, if he... Once he sees the work the mayor has to do, he's not going to want to do it. And once he sees the mayor, the work that he's even going to have to do is fucking Nino's lackey, I don't think he's going to want to do it either, so... I don't necessarily disagree, but I'm uh, man, maybe this is just a me thing. Sometimes my fuel uh, is literally the motivation of other people trying to fuck me over if I think they are right. So I'm willing to do things like become a businessman yeah. and own half the city simply based on that fuel. And that's something I would have never wasted my energy on doing before. Mm. You know, I would have put my energy into having a mayor simply based on that fuel, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I mean? Uh, motivation can be very, very, very yeah. powerful. I mean, look, look what we did. We created a whole toll business. We bought a fucking building. You know, you know, shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. So that's my only fear there. So, and uh, it would not shock it's, me. I, I think it's a valid one, to be <coughs> honest. Like, uh, you know, sometimes you say a lot of paranoid shit, but this one I think is pretty valid. Yeah. I mean, I'm a paranoid guy, and uh, you know, I'm trying to have a, uh, you know, obviously, maybe made some mistakes here and there. Uh, in regard to how Chang has perceived me, but I try to have a positive relationship, but I, I realized, you know, since fighting that, that is just not possible. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm trying to say to Nino, right? It's like, you do what you want with your people, and they are not involved with us, and if we need them to be gone, they're gone. No questions asked. 
No, I like that you said that. As long as, I mean, do we believe that, though? I love Lino. He's my brother, but he's also a very calculated and intelligent man. Okay. Um, I didn't have a reason to doubt it, but now I do. What are our other options? Do we I mean, I don't necessarily Nino? say doubt it, but just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. You know what I mean? Nino, you know, he's he's like us. You know, he's not one that he's the guy that does the thinking and the planning. He's not the one that is involved in somebody's thinking and planning. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get you. But at the same time, yeah, I don't think he's willing to. I don't think he's going to go to this length to fuck us in any way, shape or form, right? Oh, I don't think so at all either. I'm, I'm more just so saying that. Uh, I think he just believes that having that person in his corner gives him extra. Yeah, but uh, something that a lot of people uh, don't really know is that Changing is unpredictable. That is why they are so dangerous. Gotcha. They are very unpredictable. You think you're, you know, they, they, that, that, I mean, that's why they're dangerous, essentially, in my opinion. It would make some, uh, you know, a very mm. dangerous uh, group to kind of go against. But what damage can Vinny do? Okay, the shoe ran away. He's You're blocking so everything he does yeah. and concerns to anything we have. Unless he puts him in the deputy mayorship and then Vinny turns around and kills Nino. Well, it's like not what, even that. For me, it's do? more passing information. If we have a plan that involves the mayor, okay. I just don't want people catching wind of that. They may be using it to their advantage, right? Yep. Now I get you. That's more like my fear. So, you know, information is power, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the question. And it's like, can we trust Nino to do what needs to be done when we say it? Or is he going to bring it to his cabinet? I think we can. Okay, I'm uh, I'm going to just gonna drop a little bomb here because uh, I'm eating, so I won't be able to talk that much. But I, I have food in my pockets, if you guys were wondering. <laughs> Side note. You could have just role played better and say you got it from the bar, dumbass. No. Have you ever... You've never heard the bologna in pocket? I, I don't even know what the fuck you just Pocket said. ravioli? Pocket bologna? No. You're talking fucking bologna right now, mate. I'm not yeah. talking bologna. You're being sausage. Listen. My only concern with Dino Chavez is that sometimes... I may be wrong here, and please call me out if I am. He has, like, 5% of Miles Randall in him. Yeah, he has what? Sorry? 5% of Miles Randall? It's like 95% Nino Chavez, but 5% Miles Randall. What the fuck does that mean, I Leslie? I don't know what that means. It means that sometimes he thinks that maybe he is smarter than what he is in some capacities, and I, I fear that that could make him do things that might not be so smart. Okay, but does that affect us? Um, well, it would if he thinks for some reason, let's say we ask him to do something, but he thinks he can do that smarter. That is my concern. Like, he, he is too intelligent to just, just, just do, if that makes sense. I don't know. Food I mean, no, yeah, I get that. I mean, I think, the thing is, I think, you know, just vastly, uh, he has a blind side to a lot of people around him sometimes. Which can be dangerous. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Like once you like gain Nino's respect, it, it puts that to such a high degree that it almost blindsides him. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? No, that, but that's what I'm saying. We're saying the same thing. It's just we're literally saying the same thing. Anyways, I'm gonna sit down over here. I'll be right back. Isn't that the same as Denzel, though? We knew that there was a chance he was going to go around and shoot someone. We just didn't expect Oh, to I mean, I, 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 I love Denzel, but we can never compare Nino and Denzel. I, I'm willing to admit that that was a massive mistake on my part, thinking Denzel and uh, the mayor race was a good idea. I mean, but think of it from the perspective of Denzel being mayor. He didn't really... Sorry. Well, I'm going to tell you straight up, Denzel was only there for mayor, so me and him and, uh, you know, the organization that I run, we had uh, some pretty big plans, things I was working on for a while, I just couldn't really talk about really to anybody, and then, you know how it goes, though, right, you know, people just leave the city, and they don't want to deal with shit anymore, yeah. so I kind of derailed the whole thing, and I just kind of, uh, you know, and then on top of that, I just started dealing with a lot of shit outside the city that I haven't really had time to, uh, you know, plan things out, so I just kind of just been, you know, autopilot for the past couple of right. weeks. But when we all signed up to push Denzel, we knew that there was a chance he was going to do what he did. Yeah. And I think 
it's the same with Nino, right? We we know there's that I, there's going to be a chance with almost anyone, to be honest. No, I agree. That's Especially why I think, the, uh, like I said, in, in reality, Nino is the best choice. Period. But those are just my concerns, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, I'm not. You know, I, I'm, 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 I'm not having this conversation, well. and you know, like, oh, let's go. You know, find somebody else. No, no way. I mean, he's a, he's. He's our best chance at winning, especially even his idea on the gamble of I, I get what he's doing. He's, uh, you know, keeping his, you know, potential enemies close and even at the same time, you know, removing them as an opposition in the race and then securing the win guaranteed almost with probably barely any work done, to be honest, if he pulls it off. So I get it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I get it. I get it. Yeah. All right. Good. And, uh, you know, let's just hope he can fucking convince Abdul. Yeah, uh, that's going to be the biggest thing, is uh, convincing Abdul, but uh, the offer you gave him, uh, what is it, two months ago now? I don't know if anybody could ever match something like that, other than Whoa. what he's going to have to pull the strings on is emotion and uh, kind of like, you know, the wanting to do good in the city, really making him believe that. The only that. thing we can hope for, for him to join Nino, is the fact that we've already humbled him once by beating him, and that little seed of doubt is in his mind, I think. Yeah, that too, yeah. Because if we can't convince him, I honestly don't know how we can win again. I agree. Uh, especially that I think a lot of people are underestimating the fact that a lot... Well, I could also be assuming here, but in my mind, I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, well, Abdul didn't win last time, so I'm just going to vote for him so he wins this time. I feel like people are going to think like that. Plus, you know, we backed Denzel, and the first day in office, Denzel slashed their entire police budget, so the police aren't going to vote for who we back again. True. Well, I gotta take this as Penny. Hey, Penny, what's going on? Hi, Mr. Lang. Another potential hire, Kaya Bellamy? You don't hate her? Hey, no, do you I'll think there's it. any call that Lang doesn't have to okay, take? Okay, cool. And also, uh, just wanted to uh, kind of bring it to your attention if it hasn't already. Denzel is mayor indefinitely because there's no uh, election date announced. Did you know that? Did you realize that? Yeah, but it's just a play on words. Because uh, a, a yeah, mayor guess, date will eventually be announced. Yeah, but we don't know if it's if it was going to be the week after next, like planned. I feel like they would have said that, no? A hundred percent not. It's just a play on the words. Don't worry about that. Okay. Also, are you planning on backing any um, anyone running for judge? Uh, yeah, oh, we have somebody in mind. Why? Um, uh, just wanted to know in case, you know, if, if they need... Um, you know, the support, the rooster support as well, you know? I know, I, th I think Adam said that he wanted to um, see if he could... No, not Adam. Splainer, right? Oh, I don't know. Oh, is Splainer back? I haven't talked to Splainer. Yeah, Splainer's our target for that. So, uh, ooh, ooh, but me and you will have, like, a, so the mayor race and all that shit's coming up, so me and you have to have, like, a, mm -hmm. and a maybe a big staff meeting, too, because we have to be prepared for it and kind of go through yeah. it all over again. Oh, yeah, I know. So, you know, brace, uh, get ready. Uh, brace the bank accounts. Uh, they're about to get drained. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Hooray. Yeah. Hooray. And then okay, the Twitter so shop will come out and I can't afford a nice car. <laughs> that is some huge copy of Mr. Lang. You have a DeLorean, man. Guys, uh, I need a four-seater business car, guys. My DeLorean, oh, I love that car with all my fucking heart, but I don't want to pull up in the fucking DeLorean to this meeting here. I look cringe. That's my cringe racing car. I'm going to get a Rolls Royce. That is true. That is a cringe okay. racing car. Exactly. It is, it so is now I need a nice car to, you know, pull up, you know, maybe fucking a race, you know, suicide doors, you know, no, fucking. No, I'm getting that. That's what I need, you know, to pull up with a business, okay? No, I'm getting that. Hey, why don't you get the RS6, Mr. Lang? I'm getting, what was that, I'm getting Ross. Why don't you get the RS6? You know, that was me that, like, completely destroyed your car the other day up at Roosters, right? Are you the reason why my car was smoking? Why? Um, because because was, Penny, you don't lie to me, Penny. I didn't mean you happened to be there. It was for Harry only. I, I, I'm uh, sorry. Words can't express how proud I was. I'm so sorry. Look, he was so upset. He called me toxic. He said, he said, Penny, you're so toxic. You knew I wanted that car and you got it. Everyone's and then like, he was disappointed that I didn't call. get the car. I mean, it was a good prank. Don't get me wrong. It made me laugh afterwards. Yeah. But I was still upset. But it's okay. I forgive okay, you I'm now. Sorry. I it was only 24 hour. You uh, it was only a 24 hour, uh, you know, upsetness. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Work. That's fine. I, I will never lie to you again, Mr. Lang. It wasn't it wasn't meant for you. All right, Just well, scary. you better not, because I will kill you, Penny. 
All right. I will keep that in mind. Thank you very much. All right. Because, you know, I, I, I might have to, you know, kill the previous, you know, one. So. Oh, OK. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Won't cross that again. All right. All right. Have a great rest of your day, Mr. You too, Penny. Call me if you need anything. All right. OK. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. Have a topic of discussion. You know, I kind of like this being the, the Cerberus HQ. Kinda That's suits actually it. a topic of discussion that I have. Oh, what's that? The Arcadia Business Center, gentlemen. Yeah, what about it? It's the center of our business in Los Santos. Yeah, you told me about this already. Yes, but I'm telling you again. It's the center of business. All business. All business. business. Oh, my Fine. God. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Hey, well, uh, is there any more topics for discussion? I think we're good, right? Yeah, I think we're all good. We actually we'll caught up on everything, after. which makes me happy. Yep. Do we want... Can we go down and test the paintball real quick? Yeah, I mean, here did a lot of testing yesterday. Center. Yeah, but yesterday it was still not right, right? Or was it good? Uh, I'm I think everything was right. It. The only thing that was off was sometimes it would be two shots to take somebody down. Sometimes it would be four, but I, I didn't mind the randomness, to be honest. Yeah, maybe, maybe the guns have, like, critical hits or some shit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Oh, so it's all working. It's all good. We don't need to test it now. Uh, I think so. I mean, I, I think uh, today I wanted to do some uh, trial runs with Nancy and some uh, sound tests. So yeah. I got to give her a call later. Yeah, you can do it. I, I just wanted to make sure the actual trip. guns were working, you know. Yeah, yesterday they were working fine. I mean, it was a blast. It, it feels so much better now, Dean. You have no idea. Like, it actually feels fucking good. And the fact that you see yourself taking somebody out instead of them just throwing their hands up feels way better. So I think it's going to be really good. Awesome. That's cool, guys. Tournaments tomorrow. What time is it? I think uh, 6 p.m. Eastern. 7 p.m. Something like that. Uh, she's got almost all the cool. teams registered and everything. That's cool, guys. That's cool. Why, Leslie? I feel like I'm getting ignored here, okay? We're talking about the business center now. Are we? Okay. Glass yeah. elevators on the outside. You can see people go up and down. Yes. Yes, it's a great place where all business in Los Angeles is located. So we're gonna own that? I mean, should we? I'm saying we think I think we should. We're gonna have an HQ, no? No, yeah, I agree. I'm just gonna uh, you know brace for a little hate thread here real quick and then uh, we're good to go. All right. What do you mean? What what why? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just making a meme, all right? No meme. Me. It's being sausage. It's being you a want sausage. sausage. Yeah, I mean now I wanna eat a sausage because we keep talking about it so fucking much. Because people in the city always sausage. What the fuck does that mean? It means uh, like somebody is being uh, suspicious. You think sus? Suspicious? No. Sausage. It's like an uh, emote. You know? So it's not a sausage, like a fucking, uh, you know, like a pork uh, thing. You know what I mean? Or beef. No, it's um, uh, on Mitch. They have an emote called sausage. Oh, I see. I thought it's you were like, saying sausage. You know, he's like doing this. Like, hmm. Okay. I see, I see. Sausage. That's how it's pronounced. Man, I feel like there was something else I wanted to talk about, but I, I completely fucking forgot. Oh, yeah. Um. Mm. I just finished this uh, steak ravioli dinner that I had in my pocket. Anyways. <clears throat> Auto's auto. Outside of the payments and the dividends that we need to discuss with auto. Um, this is not something I need your take on. This is just to inform you. Wang has already been kind of informed. There's an employee of the name of uh, Kai Pond, I believe, that works at Autos Autos. One of the best performing employees. He is second to the top. Um, she is giving the business a lot of money by the work she does. But many, if not all, employees have an issue with her. Because of the things that she's done. One of the things that she has done is... She's trying to issue warrants on the mine side through fast ones, because she also works at fast ones, apparently. She's also, apparently, and I said to Stag, if this comes out to be true, uh, she needs to be fired immediately. She apparently has been collecting a team of lawyers to go against autos. Uh, it's actually so hilarious. To go against autos for making an exclusive deal with Diamond Hand for their loans. But the funny thing about this is, that the first people that to sign an exclusive deal was Fast Ones, and they signed it with Tuna Shop. So they would essentially be suing their own privilege. Yeah, that sounds 
pretty fucking stupid. Maybe you should let her do it then. Yeah, what else is new? It's fast launch, you know? Yeah. I mean, has fast loans even been giving out loans since this since you've you've done this? I mean, I can't I imagine we're taking the loans out for anything else, to be honest. Well, so they've been trying to get private launches as well, but I stopped that as well. What they were doing is they were giving people personal loans, and then they came to us with the money later. So what we started doing is we request to look at the bank transaction to see where the loan is coming from originally. Well, they I mean... To, they tried to sneak around, and I put another cock mark. Bam, done. Yeah, well, just let it fucking do it, you know what I mean? And uh, are we waiting to speak to Denzel here, or can I go and speak to Stanton? I got a lot That's of things I gotta go take care of. We could have the conversation yeah. with Denzel now if we want, but... Yeah, yeah I'm gonna get this shit out of the fucking way. So do I. All right, let's keep moving. All right, I'm gonna take a piss. He said he's downstairs, right? Yeah, we've been in Dialogue RP for almost, four, you know, two and a half hours now. That's what happens. Gotta catch up on a lot. Just let me pee real quick, right? I can't see shit. Wait, are you the imposter? You're being kind of sausage. You're being sausage, Dean. Yeah, I'm pretty sausage. Oh, by the way, did you see? What? By the way, Lang, did you see? Yeah, he saw it. He saw it. What? The top, right? Oh, where it says Cerberus Arena, yeah. Yeah. You see, I, I just forgot about it. Oh, right, well, sick. I want to see this new paintball shit as well, but I'll do it later when they do it. He is being pretty saucy. He is being saucy? What is going on? Wang! You're being Omega Sausage! Saswaj! You're being Saswaj! It's even worse! Oh! Fuck! We watched him, Dean. He's born now. Funny how the elevators work while the power is off. Yes, that is a bit strange, right? Kind of sausage. Kind of sausage. Yo, guys, thank you for the subs and gifted. It's Bloodshed. You're literally insane, too, man. That shit you did earlier was crazy. Bro, this power needs to get back on, bro. Then being going to condone the use of oxycodone. I love the way you typed that out. <laughs> no, we're probably not, man. <laughs> that was cute. You know, everyone the power's out, pretty minus one there, yeah. fella. Fuck you. Hey, are we good guys then? Uh, we meet up later? Are we meeting up later? What's going on here? I have no idea. I mean, Nino said he he exited to talk to Denzel, and he's not here. I don't see any of them. 
Yeah, Alright, well, we'll meet up. Uh, right I don't know. I guess we'll meet up uh, whenever they're done talking. They'll <laughs> give us a call, yeah? Fucking pissed. Yeah. I gotta go to a meeting. We're so close to being done with this shit. I know, we're so close, so fucking give me a call and harass his ass. Okay. Don't, don't go anywhere. Yeah? I wanna I wanna do the APA stuff trial when you do all it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it in a little bit. Probably after this. Hey, what's up, Canton? Hey, where uh, are you at? Can we go? Can we talk somewhere? Yeah, I'm at City Hall talking to Denzel. Come on over. All right, I'll swing by. Yeah, yeah.